For decades, the conservative movement acted as if all that mattered were policy fights in Washington or that all it would take to prevail was winning a small handful of Supreme Court cases. And we're disappointed in the Supreme Court. I'm disappointed. But the battle is so much bigger and so much broader than any of that. The radical left has been methodically taking over every giant centralized institution in American life. The school systems, you see that. The universities, the bar associations. Look at what happened to Rudy. Hollywood, journalism, the big banks, big tech, and even the Supreme Court, where we're getting some unexpected rulings because the nine justices do not want to be packed. And the Democrats are in a position to pack the court, and they don't want to be packed. But if the justices got their way, they won't be packed. In other words, what's happened is vicious things. Look at the Schumer statement that he said when he was on the court steps. So he's no longer protected because he's not, you know, in Congress, if you're a guy like Adam Schiff, you can lie and lie and lie. You can't do anything. You have immunity. But once you step out of that building, Schumer said horrible things. He said a mafia-like statement to the judges. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. But they are playing the ref. You know, playing the ref? Even better than the great Bobby Knight in his prime. I love Bobby Knight. He came out from great state of Indiana. He came out, he endorsed me. It was over in Indiana. But Bobby Knight used to scream at the refs and they'd say, why are you doing that? You're never gonna get the call changed. No, no, I'm not worried about this call, but the next call they'll be thinking about. That's what's happening with our Supreme Court. That's what's happened. They don't wanna be packed. We don't wanna have 24 judges. You know, they said 13. I said, the Democrats are too smart for 13. It's an unlucky number. Why would they have 13? So they'll make it 15, but they'll probably make it 23, 21, 19. It'll go up. But the Democrats are vicious, vicious to the Supreme Court and to Kavanaugh. He's another one. Yeah, Bill Barr, they screamed, we're going to impeach him, we're going to impeach him. And it changes people. And how about Brett Kavanaugh? We're going to impeach him on women that admitted, ultimately, that nothing happened. They weren't even in the country, one of them. It was all a made-up scam. They should be prosecuted. They should be prosecuted. And they weren't. But with Brett Kavanaugh, they're screaming, we're going to impeach him every time he votes. We're going to impeach him. And you know what? How does he get out of that? by voting for the Democrats. So it's a very sad thing. And he went through what no other person I have ever seen go through. That hearing was the most vicious, horrible hearing, I think, in the history of our country. I don't think there's ever been anything worse than that.